You know, I um, was an Army Ranger before coming to Congress, uh, uh, served in Iraq and Afghanistan, over 100 combat tours, and was used to, during that time, um, those type of situations, you know, that violence, that type of intensity. But that's also a life that I have long since left behind me, and I've uh, become a very different person now. I'm a father, a member of Congress, I was a veterans advocate for almost a de decade, and I never thought that those worlds would come back and collide together and to see that, let alone uh, in the U.S. Capitol as a member of Congress as we tried to certify the election. So truly a shocking day. Um, uh, and it's a day that uh, I, you know, was traumatic for a lot of folks. I, what I try to remind people is that was outside the, the norm of human experience. I mean, the, the brutality, I think, is important for folks to truly understand. And it's, it's easy to forget. It's easy, easy, you know, there's a lot of things competing for our time. There's a lot of things uh, competing for our attention. It's easy to forget how brutal it really was. That I did, um, I did wonder whether I was going to make it out of there. Uh, many of us who were trapped in the gallery actually called our families. Uh, when, um, when I uh, looked up and had this realization that we were trapped, so what happened was they evacuated the house floor first, and um, they forgot about those who were up in the gallery. What do you need? I'm good. Are you okay? So I started to kind of view this in a tactical way. You need to get everyone together. You need to get in a defensive position. You don't want people spread out. You don't want people to be able to be pulled away from a mob. You need, you need to get in a, in a tight group. Um, so as we were moving uh, to do that, I uh, heard the gunshot. Uh, and of course, I've heard a lot of gunshots in my time. And it was very clear what that was. And it, was, it came from the speaker's lobby, which you know, told me. And I didn't know whether it was an officer or a member of the mob. Uh, but I, I knew that things had severely escalated. Yeah, I mean, I, we, we knew it, that the mob was on three sides of the gallery, but it wasn't until I heard the gunshot that I knew that, that they were on all four sides and that all of our escape routes, all of our exit routes had been cut off at that point. Yes. The, the breaking of the glass, the, the pounding on the doors, the, 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 the yelling um, in the gallery as, as people were coordinating where to, where to go, the, the confusion. Um, it was a very chaotic scene. Yeah. And I looked back down and saw the police starting to build barricades and take furniture, anything they could find, and barricade the doors. And it was at that moment where I realized that we were trapped, that, that we weren't getting out. So many of us went through the analysis of uh, what are we going to do next? How are we going to get out? Are we going to have to make a stand there? Are we going to have to fight our way out? Uh, so the first thing I did was call my wife and um, talk to her and, and um, you know, told the family that I loved them uh, and uh, for her to tell the kids that as well. Then hung up the phone and immediately got into ranger mode, as I said, and, and as I said before, and just created a mental checklist of everything that I, I thought we could do to increase our chances of getting out and everything that we needed to prepare ourselves for. Um, something I remember, too, was uh, Lisa Blunt Rochester was shouting a prayer. Mm. Um, I don't know if you could hear that. I do remember prayer. that. Yeah. Yeah. I fully believe that, that there were people in that mob who wanted to kill us and intended to kill us. In fact, that's been proven to be true since then. Um, and it occurred to me that I, I, didn't re I didn't know whether or not those officers who were in there would have the ability to use their firearms to do what's necessary to protect everybody. Uh, they might have, but I don't know, uh, because in my time in combat, what I've learned is you never know who's able to pull that trigger until that moment comes. Uh, but I know that I can. So I actually thought for a moment about um, if they broke through uh, trying to get one of the guns from the officers yeah. to use it uh, and try to get us out. Because uh, I, I knew that I could do that if I had to. 